Hey guys, today we are in Goldmark 7 and the other day I was uh, replacing my um, dome light, the roof light from the stock one, which I have partially over here. And uh, I've replaced it with the LED one, the factory LED one. And this is the same for Passat B8, I believe some Skoda cars and some other Volkswagen Audi certain Skoda cars. So, um, when replacing the dome light, I found out that there is actually a spot for the um, uh, ambient illumination. A small LED that uh, goes over here, right over here, and it will cast a little bit of light on your center console. So all those chrome elements over here will reflect this light and you will have some um, context about where are your instruments, if there are some keys or coins over here, and it will give you some background uh, background illumination over here, which uh, I had in my previous cars. I had it in uh, Volvo C30, in BMW um, E87, and I loved this feature, this small little feature, which you don't notice usually unless one day it's missing. Like over here, when I switch to Mark 7, I've... Uh, I've uh, um, noticed it uh, on the first day that, that there's no uh, background illumination for the center console, and <laughs> why it's uh, why that's important for me because uh, if you are driving by night in full darkness, uh, you want to have something over here um, to be illuminated. Now I'm not talking about the buttons and the display, which will uh, which can uh, distract you, but if you have some. Um, background illumination over here for your footwells and those um, uh, trim trim uh, leds over here as well as the center console it will just uh, help you stay focused and it will not make your eyes tired as fast as if you will as if you would drive in full darkness so let me show you how the um, uh, background light spot is ready over here and First thing of all, I've removed the uh, the uh, plastic cover from it. Then I removed the second part from it, and over here you can see that there is an LED. I've installed this. This is not factory LED. Over here you have the microphone. So let me just show you. This is the microphone, and this is the place for the LED, and it's factory blanked with a piece of foam. And once you remove this plastic. Uh, element you can remove the foam and there's a, a tube about inch long tube over here in which I drilled a hole with a um, five millimeter drill guided two cables through it and solder it a white LED and stick it it inside then took those two wires and solder it to the uh, six pin connector to those connections that are connected to the uh, to the six pin connector and the white one is uh, ground over here and it's uh, soldered to the fourth pin um, I'm counting from the right side so it's one two three four this is ground and the uh, positive uh, wire from the LED is soldered to the third pin one two three but there there is a resistor in between so I, I i had to cut the wire and add a seven and a half kilo ohm resistor over here just to limit the current uh, going to the led and make sure that that it's dim enough for the um, for the ambient illumination to make sense because if this led was uh, too bright it will just distract you you it will cast some light on the uh, on the rear view mirror so that's uh, that's uh, not a good idea and right now let me just turn the ignition and you can see that we have some light over here still i have the um, uh, not the correct resistor over here i will change it in a few seconds and this is how it looks and the reason why I solder it over here to the pin to the pin three, not to the, the not to the pin number one. This is 12 volt, uh, um, which is available as soon as you turn the ignition on, or maybe faster as soon as you unlock your car. I solder it to the uh, pin number three. This is terminal 58, uh, which means this is the 
instrument cluster uh, uh, background illumination. So this is the illumination illumination for your buttons. You can adjust this brightness from the uh, menu over here. If you go to light and uh, scroll down, you have uh, your instrument's backlight. And in the US spec cars, I believe there's an uh, adjustment wheel on the uh, somewhere over here. But this is Eurospec car, so I have, I have it over here, and um, that's pretty much it. The effect uh, looks like this, um, and still, if you use a seven and a half kilo ohm resistor, which I think is the best uh, solution, you can adjust the brightness from the slider or from the adjustment wheel over there, so you can make it, uh, make it as uh, bright as you need it in your car. Okay. Mm, that's it. In the description below this video you will find some information about elements that I've used uh, um, as well as AliExpress links if you want to buy those parts and pretty much all you need is an LED over here and a resistor and a couple, couple centimeters of wire, soldering iron and that's pretty much it. Okay, thank you for watching and see you soon.